is about to bring you a play in two acts, written by me, Hamilton Hawks, entitled Cecil Bunyan's Private Eye. I will play Cecil Bunyan's. Now, settle back and enjoy the show. Yeah. Cool, man, cool. Shh. Excuse me. Watch it. <laughs> What's the holdup? Quiet. Hmm. Oh. Beast, get off the stage. You're not on yet. Oh, all right. Uh. <laughs> Bentley, open the curtain. Oh, oh, bad luck. It's really stuck. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Come in! Oh. Huh? What is going on? I know somebody knocked. It's me, Little Bo Peep. Won't you come in? Now, Hamilton, do I come out now? Yes! And this is my dog. Hello there. Oh, Mr. Bunyans, we haven't been introduced. Oh, pardon me. Bo Peep, Miss Wickerstick, my assistant. How do you do? I love your dress. Oh, this old thing? <laughs> I've had it forever. Have a seat, Miss Bo Peep. Oh, here. Allow me to help you. Now, <clears throat> how can we help you? I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I'm beside myself. I can't find my sheep anywhere. You must help me, Mr. Bunyans, please. <laughs> there, there, Miss Bo Peep. I'm sure if you just leave them alone, they'll come home. Yeah, yeah, I know. Dragging their tails behind them. Well, don't count on it. Believe me, those sheep are naughty. My dog was supposed to round them up, but he forgot. And now they're gone. And how many sheep did you lose? Six in all. Can you describe them? Four legs. Lots of wool. How long have they been missing? A few days. Now, now, my dear, we'll try and find your sheep. I want you to go home and get some rest. I'll try. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in touch, Bo Peep. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Mr. Bunyans. I'll wait to hear from you. Goodbye, doggy. Goodbye, Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, brother. Hiya, Hamilton. Everybody wants to get into the act. <sighs> End of Act One. <sighs> Deadly. You know, I really thought I'd fix that door. Unfortunately, it's back on the floor. It's very exciting. I wonder if Cecil Bunyans will find the sheep. The first act was very short. 
Get your pumpkin muffins, small, medium, and large. We also have teeny weeny ones. We'll take some teeny weeny ones. Help yourselves. Thank you. Mm, thanks. We'll have three large, please. You are very good. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. And now we bring you Act Two of Cecil Bunyan's Private Eye. Nedley, open the curtain. Well, we tried. We looked for those sheep everywhere. <sighs> All that searching made me tired. Why don't you take a nap while I go for lemonade? We can look for them again later. Good idea, Miss Wickerstick. Hmm. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Miss Wickerstick, come quickly! <laughs> oh, Cecil, how did you ever find them? I'll reveal that when Miss Bo Peep arrives. Stop that! <laughs> now settle down! Bo Peep was right. You are very naughty. I can't wait until she gets here and takes you home. Stop that! Come in! Oh, I hope that's Bo Peep! <gasps> oh, Mr. Bunyans, you found them! How can I ever thank you? Just take them home, please! So tell me, Mr. Bunyans, how did you find my sheep so quickly? It was really very simple. I pretended to go and take a nap and began counting them. And they appeared in my office, and I've had them here ever since. Thank you again. Oh, think nothing of it. Just another case solved by Cecil Bunyan's private eye. Well, I really must get my sheep home. Come along, sheep. I'll mail you my bill at the end of the month. Thank you. Oh. Another case solved by Cecil Bunyan's Private Eye! Yeah! Yeah! Thank you! Thank you very much! Good stuff, Thank you! Thank you! Bravo! <sighs> What's taking Hamilton so long? I don't know, but I think it's time to eat. You always say that, Beast. Hamilton! I'm sorry, but please don't rush me. This is going to be really fun. It hasn't been so far. <laughs> Beast, that's not nice. Hamilton would wait for you. Yeah, Beast. Hamilton would wait for you. Hey, Hamilton, the clock is ticking. We haven't got all day. <sighs> Welcome to the Hamilton Hawks cooking show. On today's show, Hamilton, the master chef, will teach us the fine art of how to decorate a super delicious seven-layer raspberry swirl pumpkin upside down cake. Mm. Thank you, thank you. Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's show. I'm your chef, Hamilton Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And now, our wonderful recipe for super delicious seven-layer raspberry swirl pumpkin upside down cake. Mmm! Mm. Now, first, you mix your dry ingredients with your... <coughs> um, excuse me, Mr. Chef. Do we get to eat the cake when it's finished? <sighs> yes, Beast. 
but please save all your questions until the question and answer period. Now, first you have to bake your seven layers oh, of pumpkin oh, cake. Oh, oh, over here. Excuse me, Mr. Chef? <laughs> yes? Mr. Chef, why can't you show us how to make cheesecake? Oh, that will be on tomorrow's show, Rudy. Hamilton, when are you going to decorate the cake? I sure am getting hungry. Beast, let Hamilton do his show. <sighs> now, where was I? Ah, yes. Now, first you have to bake all seven layers of your cake, which, as you can see, I have right here. Be careful not to let them dry out. Now, to make the icing, you'll need icing sugar, butter, water, egg whites, vanilla, grated lemon peel, and food coloring. Oh! Are you all right? Oh. There, there, Beast. Oh, oh brother. <laughs> now, you are all going to learn how to ice a cake properly. I've made each of you a small cake to decorate yourselves. Great! Me. Yummy! And I have everything you'll need right here. So please line up. Single file, please. Now, Here's an icing tube and a chef's hat for each of you. Well, this is so exciting. I've always wanted to ice a cake. Woo! How do I look, Maggie? Like a real professional. And here are your cakes. Beast, I made yours the biggest. Oh, thank you, Hamilton. <laughs> yes, thank you, Hamilton. <laughs> Thanks. You're all very welcome. Now, the food coloring. Hamilton, what are these funny bags for? That is not a funny bag, Beast. It's an icing tube. It is used to make decorations on a cake. I'll show you how to fill it. Make sure there isn't any air caught in your tube, or it could make a little explosion of icing when you push it out. Like that? <laughs> See? That's beautiful, Hamilton. That looks delicious. Now you guys try. <gasps> oh no! Help me! I'm stuck! Oh, dear. Stop playing in your food, Rudy. I'm all covered in icing. Don't worry. I'll take you to the River of Dreams to wash off. Okay, but be careful with my hat. It's the only one I've got. Hmm. Uh, what is that supposed to be? It's Highest Mountain. And that? That's Mr. Shivers. The snowman. Hmm. Ah, uh, it looks just like him. But now you can't even see the cake. Well, you know how much I like icing. Your cake looks very nice, Beast. Thank you, Maggie. There. What are those? Trees for the mountain. Oh, well here, let me help. You make great trees, Maggie. I think you're all done now, Beast. Mm, no, not quite yet. There, now I'm all done. <sighs> I'm happy to inform all of you that your cakes are now complete. Let's take a look at what we have made on today's show. <laughs> they all look good enough to eat. <laughs> well, that concludes our program for today. 
On tomorrow's show, we will learn how to make a banana Belgian waffle ice cream sundae. Hey, I thought we were making cheesecake. And cheesecake. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Hamilton Hawks Cooking Show. Um, Hamilton? Yes, Beast? Now do we get to eat the cakes? Yes, Beast. Dig in! Finished cleaning, Hamilton? I think so. I just want everything to be perfect when Maggie gets back. <laughs> what kind of cake did you bake? It's a surprise. You'll see when Maggie gets here. Oh, please tell me. No. Oh, all right. Just tell me what kind of icing. You'll have to wait. I can't wait to see Maggie. Doesn't it seem like she's been gone for a long time? Yes, it does. But it's really only been two days. Oh! I beg your pardon. Hamilton? Hmm? Do you think maybe she'll bring us something? I don't know, Beast. She went to visit her cousins in a place called Beach Haven. Oh, remember a long time ago she brought us something called salt water taffy? Maybe she'll bring us that again. Mmm, that was so delicious. I like the peppermint. Mmm, wintergreen. That was my favorite. <laughs> hmm, what do you think? About what? About these for the table. Oh, all right, I guess. You aren't much help. I wish she'd hurry. She'll be here any minute. Help me set the table while we're waiting. Here, Beast, you take the table. I'll bring the cloth, plates, and silverware. Hurry up, Hamilton. Keep your spots on. I'm looking for the good sugar bowl. Hamilton? What? Maggie should have been here by now. Hi, guys. Hi, Rudy. Hi, Rudy. I just stopped by to welcome Maggie home. Isn't she here yet? No. Hmm, that's strange. She should be here soon. She's been gone a long time. I really thought she'd be here by now. Stay and wait with us, Rudy. We're going to have a special cake. I wish I could, but I have to get back. And blueberry tea. You love blueberry tea. I do, but I just stopped by to see Maggie. I'm baking cheese bread and it'll be ruined if I don't get home. Please tell her I said welcome home. Let's get the table ready. She really is late. Oh. Hamilton, is something wrong? No. Why do you look so funny? What do you mean funny? You know, funny. Like when your box had a hole in it. Oh, what's wrong? I have a little stomach ache. And my head hurts. I'm sorry. What can I do? Nothing. I know. I'll get you a cold cloth for your head. No, Beast. Just stay here with me. I'll be right back. <sighs> How does that feel? Okay. Thank you, Beast. Just rest. You'll feel better soon. Beast? Yes? I'm afraid maybe Maggie's not coming back. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> we have to try and think positively. There's a lot of reasons she could be late. Do you really think so? <sighs> yeah.
Yes, I do. <gasps> Name one. Maybe she stopped to buy us something. <gasps> you mean like saltwater taffy? Right. That could be. <laughs> Don't cry, beast. I can't help it. Maybe she found a new beast. Yes. And maybe she found a new little piggy. Maggie couldn't find a better little piggy than you. You really think so? Yes. Hamilton? Hmm? What will we do if she doesn't come back? Oh. Don't even think about it. But what will we do? We'll just live here in Nowhere Land. I'll do the cooking, and you'll... Hmm. I'll do the eating. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing will ever be the same without Maggie. I know. To see you. I'm sorry I'm so late. We had a flat tire driving home. Did you think I wasn't coming back? Oh, of course not. We were just anxious to see you. Yes, and Hamilton wanted to see you so bad that he got a stomach ache. That's not true, Beast. It was because I licked the icing bowl for the cake I made for Maggie's homecoming. You made a cake for me? Yes, I'll get it now. Wait. I have a better idea. It's late and I have to go home for dinner. Why don't we save the cake for tomorrow? Look, I brought you some saltwater taffy. Mmm, mmm, this is delicious. Uh -huh. Let's just sit here a while. I think I'll have one more piece. Okay, just one more. We'll save the rest for tomorrow. I love you, Maggie. I love you too, Hamilton.